Hey there! Today, I'm diving into the world of cancer therapy and exploring two fascinating options, NK cells and NK exosomes. Let's get started. Natural killer cells, or NK cells, are like the elite soldiers of your immune system. They can directly recognize and destroy cancerous cells by detecting stress signals. This makes them incredibly effective at eliminating cancer through cytotoxic mechanisms. Plus, they can form an immune memory to respond quickly to recurrent cancer cells. However, NK cells face challenges. In an immunosuppressive environment like the tumor microenvironment, their activation can be inhibited. Also, securing and activating a sufficient number of NK cells can be time-consuming and expensive. Now let's talk about NK exosomes. These tiny vesicles are derived from NK cells and carry proteins, RNA, and other immune-activating substances. They act as messengers delivering crucial information to induce immune responses against cancer cells. NK exosomes can function effectively even in immunosuppressive environments, potentially overcoming the limitations of NK cells. Plus, they might cause fewer side effects since they suppress cancer cells through molecular actions rather than direct cell death. But there are uncertainties. Research on NK exosomes is still in its early stages, and their effects can vary depending on their composition and the type of cancer. Additionally, producing consistent quality NK exosomes is a complex process. So how do they compare? NK cells offer immediate therapeutic effects with proven results, especially in solid cancers. But they struggle in immunosuppressed environments. On the other hand, NK exosomes excel in these environments and act as an immune regulation and delivery system. However, their effects are still under study. Current research is exploring how NK cells and NK exosomes can complement each other. For instance, exosomes derived from NK cells could enhance the function of NK cells or support their effects. In conclusion, it's tough to pick a winner. The best approach depends on the type of cancer, the patient's immune status, and the treatment method. As research progresses, we'll likely see these two methods being optimized and used together for even better results. Thanks for watching. Always consult with your healthcare provider for personalized advice. Stay informed and stay strong.